In this short example, I'll show you how default routing can be problematic in L2TP access networks. Let's start with the reference architecture. Our remote site is connected through DSL to a service provider's local L2TP access controller or LAC and it uses PPPoE to connect to LAC. LAC encapsulates PPP packets into L2TP envelopes and sends them to our LNS or L2TP network server. It's connected directly to the internet and obviously has an access list on the outside port to prevent other packets from the internet from entering the LNS and through it the enterprise network. Now, if a remote user wants to connect to a web server, the remote site's router sends PPPoE packet to LAC, where it's converted to L2TP packet and sent to LNS. There, the L2TP and PPP envelopes are stripped and we are left with an IP packet which has to go through the central site and through the firewall so that the remote site is protected from direct internet access and then to the remote website. So as you can see, the packet goes from remote site to our central site through our central firewall and off to the remote web server. As you cannot know where the remote web server is, you obviously need a default route from LNS pointing toward the core of your central site. Fine, what about the return flow? An IP packet goes from remote web server to our firewall where it's filtered. If it goes through, it comes to our central site which sends it to our LNS server based on the routing information propagated from remote site through LNS. And here it has to be encapsulated in L2TP packet and sent to LAC where the L2TP packet is opened, PPP frame is extracted and sent over Ethernet through PPPoE to the remote site where the IP packet is then delivered to the end user. If you know the exact IP addresses of the LAC servers, you could configure static routes pointing to them on the LNS. Usually that's not the case, so you need a default route on the LNS pointing toward the internet, like this. To propagate the packets from the remote site to the web server, you need a default route pointing right and to send the return packets through LAC to the remote site, you need a default route pointing left. So you need two default routes, each one pointing in one direction, which obviously cannot work. Any idea what you could do?